Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, what we're doing today is more battles from the Federation Klingon War from 2372 to 2373. So, if you're not aware, this war took place right up until the start of the Dominion War. And it all started because the Founders wanted to destabilize the Alpha Quadrant, so it was easier for them to conquer it. Alright, so for this first scenario, we're gonna do a Klingon attack on a Federation outpost with some dry docks. Alright, let's see if we can defend the base. Yes, quite. Mm hmm. Okay, red alert. Red alert shields up. Okay, I gotta lower the sensitivity settings on my mouse. <laughs> Sending orders. Okay, let's target the lead Vorcha. Let me drop in right on top of them. Or under them. <laughs> Fire torpedoes. Okay, so I'm in the Sir, Venture refit of the Galaxy point. class, so we have Quantum Torpedoes. I'm gonna fire all of the AF Photon Torpedoes and then switch to Quantums. Loading quantum torpedoes, sir. Full power to the phasers. All right, that ship is getting out of range. Let's target another one. Quantum torpedoes. That's fire three. Okay, that ship has been disabled. Okay, our Akira 17 has taken heavy damage. The bottom shield is draining, sir. Have torpedoes full spread. Wow. <laughs> that just deleted that Vorcha. Alright, our space facility is taking heavy damage. Let me see if I can see what's targeting it. Alright, at the moment, nothing. It must have cloaked. Whatever it was. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Top shield. Wow, those quantum torpedoes are really powerful. Alright, let's see what is close. Ah, the ambassador class is taking heavy damage. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Captain, we're on a collision course. We've lost the Miranda class. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Ah, uh, that looks so cool. You can see the Ambassador class with its, uh, one of its nacelles venting plasma. Let me zoom in real quick on that. Oh, that's so cool. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Okay, where is this bird of prey? This one has never cloaked during this fight. 
Which is strange. Usually all the Klingons end up on the bottom of the list. Okay, let's try to drop in right by it. Full spread of torpedoes. Alright, the last ship is the K Tinga. The bottom shield is draining, sir. Okay, warp engage. That's it. We got him. We sure did. All right, let's see the damage to all of our facilities. Okay, from this angle, we don't see much on this one. The outpost itself is fine, shields are at 100%. The dry docks surprisingly are fine. This one has a hole breach though. The other one is fine. The centaur, doing good. Shields are fantastic. Only dorsal shields took a few hits. The ambassador, as we saw earlier, took a beating. It's warp drive. Yeah, it lost one of its nacelles. The starboard one, it's probably damaged too much. Other than that, it's fine. It has phasers and it has full torpedoes. What else do we have? Excelsior. This one also took a beating. Lost numerous phasers. Not too bad overall. It has full torpedo complement. Then we have this one, which barely got hit. Everything is at 100%. And then the two Mirandas. I believe we lost the Miranda and, and Akira. Oh, we lost both Akiras. Okay. Interesting. So we lost about a third of our ships, but none of this none of the uh, stations uh, got destroyed. So that's good. The fleet did its job. Wow, these Mirandas took heavy damage. Huge uh, piece missing here in the back. This one has a it got hit so hard by one weapon that it went through the saucer. <laughs> Wow. Alright, so a quick break before the next battle. Alright, so here we have part 2 to the video. For the enemy fleet, I gave them a Negvar, and I myself would be in an Intrepid class. So the Intrepid class is traditionally not a match for a Negvar, but we'll see how well I do. I do have the advantage of maneuverability. And then we have, as you can see on the screen, we have these ships on our side. And then we gave the Klingons these ships. So let's see how we do. Let's see if the Intrepid class's maneuverability is enough to save it from a Negvar attack. Alright, so red alert. Red alert, shields up. Full power to engines and weapons. And shields. Oh, I see we have a bird of prey after us. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Here we have a Katsinga after us now. So far, Fleet seems to be seems to be doing fine. But usually with uh, battles with Klingons, everything is fine until suddenly it's not. Everybody's just dying left and right. Let's see. Alright, let's just drill into that warp core. There we go. Target the next one. Alright, so 
I get the last one. Oh, that's cool. You see that Akira doing maneuvers next to us. Or I guess dying. <laughs> Alright, let's go after the next bar. Circuit their shield generator and fire. All ventral phasers fire. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Their forward shield is draining. Alright, so let's just keep concentrating on that shield generator. If that ship turns around and fires on us, we're done. Like, we're lucky it's going after a galaxy class. Captain, their shield system has been disabled. Ah, we got their shield generator. Target their four torpedo launchers. Target hull integrity at 50%. Their hull is severely damaged, sir. Excellent. We've killed the Negvar. So with the Klingon flagship destroyed, it shouldn't be too terribly hard to sir, we are take out the rest the of the Klingon shield. fleet. Let's go out to this Vorcha. Okay, quick warp. Their forward shield is draining. And fire. Sir, their aft shield is draining. Okay, let's target their warp core. Ventral phasers. Oof. Target hull integrity at 50%. Beautiful. Captain? Do we have any warp core damage? No, we don't. Why does this ship feel a little sluggish? Captain? I guess it could be my keyboard somehow. Captain, we have collapsed the bottom shield. Oh, what the hell? That bird of prey just let him have the forward it. Shield is draining. Let's go avenge our brothers. Take us in closer. And the tractor beam is useless. I feel that in this game, tractor beams have always been useless. Sir, we are draining their top shield. With the exception of maybe a shuttlecraft, there's nothing you can literally stop. That's it. We got him. Okay, let's order the fleet to follow us. Sending orders. All right, let's do a quick fleet inspection. The Sakura took minor hull damage. It'll be at 100% soon. The Galaxy class, like a champ, is it hang hung in there, despite taking direct hits from the Nagwar. Excelsior took heavy damage. It looks like it lost most of its phasers, but it has a full torpedo uh, complement. Not compliments, sorry. All of its tubes are fine. And this saber, it took a lot of hull damage, but it seems to have... Yeah, it seems to be fine otherwise. Just a lot of structure damage. 
and then we have a defiant. It took a massive hit to the hull, but the ablative armor helped it survive with minor system damage. I'm afraid not, Captain. He seems intent on his present course of action. Alright, let's do a quick cinematic shot. Hopefully none of the ships collide with each other. I like the background noise Sir, from the Intrepid class. Ship is on a collision course with us. All right, so let's end this yes, by Captain. having the whole fleet go to warp towards. Where do we go to? Let's see. Course Starbase twelve. In. All ships go to Starbase twelve. Maximum warp. Engage. Yes, Captain. Alright guys, that'll be it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any battle requests, just drop it in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, let me know. You know, drop a comment, hit the like button, all that good stuff, and please don't forget to subscribe. Alright, catch you guys on the next video. Peace.